Now, having looked at uh, some of the basic calculations in terms of multiplication, let us try to uh, use some formulas for which we will be adding some labels here. Let's write total salary. We would also like to calculate, let's say, maximum salary of our employees, the minimum salary drawn, and let's say the average salary. So we would like to calculate all these for monthly as well as the annual. So uh, for doing that, let's start with the monthly and uh, go immediately below the column F, which is F23. Now there are two ways of doing this. One is there is an Excel menu which determines how the functions are. So if you have to total this, the function that you need to use is SUM, S-U-M. And for this, we can look at how do we insert functions. So let's click here. We go to, we can choose different kinds of functions. Let's choose sum because that's what we want to do. We want to sum total the monthly salary and let's press OK. And once we have done that, you need to click here and choose the numbers or the range which you want to sum total. This can be done by dragging from the top till the bottom of the employee table. So this will sum total the monthly salary of the employees. And what you will do next is just press OK. And you will find that the formula which is equal to sum F4 colon F21 is being executed and the sum total comes out to be 92,700 US dollars as monthly salary of XYZ company. Now this was the first approach. The second approach uh, would be, let me delete the, this original formula first. It would be typing the formula which means you type equal to, you need to type sum total, sum, S-U-M, open bracket and here it defines the numbers, number one, number two. Within this bracket, you can choose the full range from F4 till F21. And don't press enter as of now. Close the parenthesis first and then press enter. With this, you will find that you have created your first set of formulas, which is the sum total of the monthly salary. Now, this is how you can proceed. Normally, when you are... Uh, using Excel a lot, maybe the second approach is much more suitable because you're well versed with the formulas. The first approach involves usage of mouse becomes a bit tedious at times. So I would highly recommend that you must use the second approach. Now let us try to find the annual salary of the total employees. Now here I will uh, teach you another set of uh, approach. So let's look at uh, home and the menu here which is auto sum just click on this auto sum and you may find that your full formula which is equal to sum g4 till g22 is being shown in the cell the next thing you will have to do is just to press enter and you'll find that the overall annual package or annual salary is being calculated using this formula so as you may have seen, you know, Excel being an intelligent tool, uh, it automatically identifies what you are trying to do based on your previous history. And um, sometimes it really works well. So uh, I would like to recommend that if you have used such kind of formulas, please do double check on whether this formula is totally accurate. Now let us move to the next set of formulas and the approach will essentially remain the same. The first approach would be to insert this function from the top and find the relevant formula. So here we want to find the maximum salary. So the formula would be max bracket opens and the selection of numbers. So I've selected this function max and I'll press OK. And um, in order to choose the numbers, I will have to click here uh, and select the range. So this approach will be as simple as this. I'll just press OK. And what we find is the ma maximum salary is $9,200. Let us try to calculate the maximum salary, which is the annual salary, using the second approach for the annual one. So this would be 
as we do for others uh, we use equal to this is basically uh, excel way of telling that anything that comes after equal to would be a formula so this is equal to and uh, use max with a bracket open what would this mean is you need to now select this range of numbers and let's select the full range in terms of annual salary and we close the bracket and press enter in order to find the maximum salary so this is the maximum monthly salary and we have the annual salary calculated using the formulas so let us now calculate the minimum salary as well this will be equal to the formula for minimum is m i n this is a formula this returns the smallest number in a set of value and it ignores logical values and text so open bracket and select the range within which you want to find the minimum and close the bracket so what we find is the minimum salary is $2100 likewise let's quickly find the minimum for the annual salaries min bracket open and let's quickly select the range and bracket closed so this is $25200 is the minimum salary what about the average salary there are 18 employees and each employee is drawing different kinds of salary so what will be the average salary so it's very easy if you're using Excel again you just need to know the function as intuitive as it can be average is the formula that we will use and the format remains against the same let's select the range from F4 to F21 and bracket closed so what we find is the average salary is 5150 US dollars and let's find the average again for the annual salary this is bracket closed and this is $61,800 so as you may have seen you know we have written these formulas twice one in this set of column which is F and the same formula was written in this column which is G now there is essentially a shortcut by which you can totally avoid writing a formula in the G column if you have written that formula for the F column say for example let's take the case of total salary which is the monthly salary now for this we have already written the formula which consists of this block okay and we just need to shift this block from F to G block for calculating the total salary so the way we can do it is earlier we had learned copy and paste from Microsoft Word to Excel sheet here what we will be doing is a copy and a paste from MS Excel to MS Excel itself so this means copying the formula from column F to column G so what we'll do is we'll select the cell just right click go to copy and select the cell G I'll do the right click again select cell G right click and paste what we find is that the formula gets copied from the left to the right the difference being that since we have shifted one column here the column the sum total for the column also gets shifted so this is the way in which you can actually copy and paste your set of formulas a regular tip for shortcuts control C and control V this is copy and this is paste now let me show you what this shortcut tip is all about let me delete the annual salary again go back to the monthly salary what I need to do is just use the keyboard buttons and press control and C the moment I do that it gets highlighted this means that copy has been activated the next function that I need to do is paste so where do I want to paste this formula I want to paste this formula in cell G23 how will I do that this is control and V so the moment I type control and V you'll find that the formula gets replicated in cell G so this is how you know you can work along with the shortcut tip on copy and paste